Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today, let's talk about brokers and inspections. Now, I know these brokers have different requirements for trucking companies to haul their freight. And look, they're allowed that. But I put y'all on notice. Carriers are not going out here and begging for inspections from DOT officers. It's just not the way we're going to do business. And if you're thinking that you're top dog in your industry and you're going to demand that you have inspections on this lane and that lane and you have so many inspections per year, you're not going to get my business. And if it gets to where nobody will do business with me, I'm still not going to beg for no inspections from no cops. Now, there is a solution. You can request an annual inspection, a copy of our annual inspection from our loves or TA or wherever we get our annual inspections from to show our equipment's in top notch. You can do that, you know, make sure that's up to date. But far as demanding that I have a DOT FMCSA inspection by a police officer ever so often. I do not agree with that. Don't believe that that's a good road for brokers to take when they're trying to uh, give carriers their loads. But this is the type of thing we see when the market favors brokers instead of favoring carriers. And this will not last forever, brokers. And trust me, I tried the brokerage thing. Could have done it. Didn't like it. I feel for y'all because nobody likes you. So that being said, you want to make sure you get quality carriers. And you don't want no double brokering going on. And you don't want anybody stealing your shipments. Do your due diligence in other ways. Forcing carriers to have certain inspections. I, I saw a post today where he had a uh, carrier uh, broker wanted him to have an inspection on a certain lane, not just by a cop anywhere in the USA so often, but on a certain lane. That's a little ridiculous, people. That's why me and my business, I have some core brokers that I do business with regularly. Seldomly, I step out with a new broker. It's got to be a load that pays great. Or a broker I know that's going to pay me because there's been so many slow payments and no payments. I cannot afford, as a one-truck company, to go out there and pull a load for free. That could bankrupt me. If I go out there and pull a big load, don't get paid for it, that could literally put me in a financial bind that I might not be able to recover from. Especially if it happens on a week where I have a lot of repairs or something like that. You never know what's going to happen with a trucking company. So, carriers, find your core brokers. If they're trying to do all that crazy stuff, don't do business with them. Move on. Leave their freight on the dock. That's just my thoughts for the day. I hope y'all have a great and wonderful day and enjoy this four times speed it up video. God bless. Catch you on the next ride. Mm-hmm.